All right, so I recently did a video where I went into a Mac store and had a Mac employee give me a makeover. It was interesting. I'll link it in the eye and down below if you missed that video. But today I'm gonna to be doing the same thing with Bare Minerals. So I'm going into a freestanding Bare Minerals store. They're gonna give me a makeover. And I'm really excited for this one because Bare Minerals is one of those brands that I have like a handful of things that I really like. Like love their new pressed bronzers, highlighters, the bounce blush. I definitely have a handful of products that I love but they're one of those brands that their face products I've just never gotten to work for me. I did a whole review on the loose powder foundation so I'm really curious to see how my base turns out and if I'm just like using the products wrong and if there's some kind of different technique that I can use. So I'm really looking forward to this one. I think it's gonna be interesting to not only just like see how the makeup artist does my makeup but also just learn more about the products. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you wanna see more of these, let me know down below. Let me know where you'd wanna see it at. But if you do enjoy while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. I obviously have nothing on my face right now so we're starting off barefaced. I am uh, about to pee my pants so I'm gonna go run to the bathroom and then head to the store. I do have an appointment, so I do have permission to film in the store. I have permission from the makeup artist to be on camera. I'm not gonna show their face, but I'm gonna show their hands and their voice as they're talking through some of the stuff. So here we go, let's go make up the space. which is kind of the standard uh, focus on skincare, very monochromatic. Mm -hmm. And then we have obviously the more saturated kind of look, which is a little bit more intense. By intense, I mean obviously it's not gonna be Mac intense. Yes. So we're gonna just throw that out there. <laughs> I'm good yeah. today. All right, so she started off by using a Bare Minerals Micellar Water to cleanse my skin. I just had SPF on, so she just said that she wanted to get it off and start with a clean slate. So then she's massaging my face with some serum. I'm gonna put all the skincare products and makeup that she used down below in the description box, but she, I think it was the longevity serum it's called or something like that. Then she's putting on a thicker kind of eye cream and working that into my eye area and on top of my lid. I like that she was talking through each of the skincare products. Here they are, the ones that she used as she was doing it so that I could hear some of the benefits and everything. And then here she's putting on the face cream. This one was a little bit thicker, which I don't mind because I have dry skin. So as far as the makeup look that we decided to go with, I basically gave her free reign. So she's starting out with the eyebrows and just kind of lightly filling in my brows. I do have permanent brows on, so she doesn't have to do a lot. She's just kind of lightly penciling those in. And then she did like to start off with the eyes instead of the face first. So first she's priming my eyes using the Bare Minerals Eye Primer, which I hadn't tried before. It's just kind of like a lighter liquid eye primer that has a little bit of pigment to it so she's just brushing that all over my lids. For eyeshadow she used a combo of these three palettes right here and she started off by applying just kind of a neutral tan shade into the crease when she was working on my right eye or I guess my right eye for you guys my left eye she was um, in the frame of the camera so it was blocking it out so I basically had to cut out whenever she was doing my right eye which is why you'll see her working on my other eye. She did explain to me that Bare Minerals basically makes a couple main eyeshadow brushes that she kind of has to work with, which can be challenging because there's this one big kind of fluffy blending brush and that's you'll see that's what she's using to blend all of the eyeshadows basically regardless of the color. So that's a little bit tricky if you're trying to like play something smaller. So she's just working a darker shade into like the outer third of my eye. I like the smokiness she has going on. She took her time blending and I like how she did a nice like V shape as well. She was also a really good conversationalist while she was doing makeup, which is really challenging. I know from back when I used to do makeup, it is very hard to carry on a full on conversation while you're doing someone's makeup. I feel like it's almost like an added level of skill. So go her, she did good. So here she's applying a lighter kind of champagne color to the lid. She did go back in after this and add kind of like a gold glittery shimmery shade over top so I don't I can't really tell if this was a matte shade or a shimmer it's not really showing up on camera either way but now she is applying that gold shade right on top now she's going in with a deeper brown shade here 
and just adding some depth to the outer V and it looks like she's kind of angling it inwards as well and then going back in and cleaning up the crease right there. She used a cotton pad with some micellar water on it again just to clean up the edges and get like a nice straight line there. And then she was done with the eyes for now. She would go back to the eyes afterwards, but now we're moving on to the face. So she added some hydrating primer to my skin. She said she was focusing this only in certain areas. She didn't bring it all over my face. And then for the face product first, she used a complexion rescue. This is kind of like a tinted moisturizer. To first get this on the skin, she used kind of like a small concealer brush almost and just slapped it on there and then she went in with a bigger kind of kabuki brush to blend it out. I noticed that she did kind of more like dragging motions which doesn't give the best coverage but she was kind of just using like dragging sweeping motions instead of stippling which is fine but that's what she's doing. So she took her time blending. She kind of did a couple layers of the complexion rescue and then she actually ended up going in with the foundation stick over top, which I have a review on. It's their hydrating foundation stick because she said she wanted to add some coverage. So you can see her using this to basically like the center of my face, which is where she wanted to bring most of the coverage, I guess, all over my forehead. And then she went back in with the same brush to blend out the foundation stick. I did feel like the foundation, like the base looked a little bit dark and yellow, but you guys will see at the end what it looks like in natural lighting. She went in with the Bare Skin Complete Coverage Concealer and she used her fingers to apply this underneath my eyes and then she brought it a little bit on my forehead between my eyebrows and just used her fingers to blend that out. So she used this product in a shade called Bright AF and I think it's kind of like a brightening illuminator kind of thing. I'm pretty sure that's what she's applying right here because it seems like she's focusing it on my temples and then kind of like on my high point of my cheekbone right there. And then here she's using powder to set my face with a big fluffy brush and just kind of setting all over. She said she didn't want to set my concealer so she did just leave my concealer without anything, any kind of powder over top. She used a Bare Minerals Liquid Eyeliner for my eyeliner. I've never tried this one, and I did like that it had the same kind of brush that I usually love, like the Physicians Formula one and the Too Faced rather than Sex Liner. And then she's using a black liner to apply to my waterline. She did this really well, like just the technique. It, I don't know, She you could just tell that she's done it a lot before and she knew what she was doing. And here, I guess she is smoking out the lower lash line with some darker eyeshadow. She's also using that same dark eyeshadow to darken up the top a little bit and kind of bringing it out a little bit further it looks like. So here's the eyeliner she ended up using Lash Domination. It's a great, you know, very intense name. Okay, so now she's using a bigger brush to blend that out and then adding some more concealer under my eyes to clean up the eyeshadow on the lower lash line. So I'm pretty sure my camera automatically shut off when she did the highlight because I have zero footage of the highlight, but she used this one in the shade Free, which I thought looked super pretty. But she then began bronzing my face. She used the Bare Minerals Faux Tan Bronzer, which is one of my favorite shades of bronzer ever. I will have all the products listed down below if you want to know the exact names and everything. She went pretty ham on the bronzer, which I'm not mad about. And then she used a blush, which I also don't have footage of. I think my other camera just like crapped out right here. Here's the powder that she used before. This is the Perfecting Veil. She went back in with it to clean up the line here and just create like a more harsh contoured kind of look. Then she added a brighter color to my inner corner and then went in with some mascara. They didn't have false lashes in the store, so she just had to use mascara. Again, I felt like she had really good technique with this. It just seemed very like effortless basically. And then she was applying some mascara to my lower lashes as well. What's happening here? Cracking jokes? Who knows? Then we are moving on to lips. So she used a lip liner, two different lipsticks, and a lip gloss. So I'll have them all listed down below. But here she is lining my lips. And she used two different colors, she said, because she wanted to create the illusion of bigger lips. She put on the lighter color towards the inner part of my lips. But first she's starting with this darker kind of peachy color on the rest of my lips. Okay, does anyone else feel like this blonde chick on the poster in the background is just staring into your soul? Here she's adding that lighter kind of pinky color. I'm talking to the other employee here. And then she's going back in with the free highlight and just adding a little bit more to my forehead, kind of the outside of my face it looks like, and then spraying with the Bare Minerals Dewy Mist. 
And then it looks like she's kind of tapping in that spray with a big fluffy powder brush. And then adding some more highlight. Hello, back of head. Add in some more to the forehead. And we done. Thank you. Okay, so I just got back into the car. I need to start bringing a mirror so I can like, oh, I guess I have a mirror right here. Look at that. Look at those cars. So the Bare Minerals store had pretty crappy lighting and we couldn't find a good like shot, but hopefully I think we can see much better here. So my makeup artist was super nice. She talked through everything really well. She talked about the products a lot and I felt like I really got a good understanding of the products and like what she was doing and she used like a mix of things which i like because i like that she didn't just like slap on one product and call it a day i love how she did my highlight she would put it on first and i really like that highlight shade i probably should have bought that the eyes we both kind of agreed would really need like false lashes to kind of complete it she said that and i also said that and i i do think like if i put on some false lashes right now the eyes would look a lot different but here's what the eyeshadow looks like asked if I would change anything what I would change and I said I'm just not used to my black coming out this far like on my eye shape I usually bring it to like here I'm just not used to it but I again it's like fun to kind of see what makeup artists do differently and stuff I feel like my under eyes look pretty dark like I can definitely see I don't know if that's eyeshadow fallout or just my dark under eyes but I can definitely see like stuff coming through right here. It doesn't really look like I have under eye concealer on. I really like the lip color. She used a combo of three different products. I ended up buying a lip gloss. My forehead is looking a bit dry. And then, yeah, like I said, the under eyes are kind of not there. I just wanted to pop and say, I don't think the lack of under eye coverage or my dry skin is like her fault. I just think it's how the products performed on my skin. But let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if there are any other stories you want to see this at. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. This person is walking past right now and staring at me. Here she comes. There she goes. If you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. SIP time. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.